Meanwhile, new tonight, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we are taking a closer look at local innovations that are having far-reaching impacts. A new center at UC Davis will serve as a hub for safer, more targeted cancer treatments. Yeah, and it's one of several new initiatives at the university designed to make cancer care more available to everyone. For many years, there was this uh, impression that cancer was simply based on the genetic code and not the zip code of the patient. It turns out your neighborhood, lifestyle, how much money you make can be a matter of life or death when it comes to finding and treating cancer. That's why the UC Davis Comprehensive Cancer Center recently launched the Center for Advancing Cancer Health Equity focused on reducing health disparities. Uh, we have data from our uh, Northern California region where we can pinpoint the areas where uh, breast cancer screening are particularly uh, challenged. So Dr. Lara and his team are working to deploy more intensive cancer screenings to underserved women. Their mission also includes the new Center for Experimental Therapeutics in Cancer, just launched this month. Clinical trials are one way we could help solve the cancer problem because that's where new approaches and new treatments are being tested. The idea is to create more effective, less toxic cancer therapies right at the university from start to finish. If you ask um, uh, people a generation or two ago, they would uh, routinely tell you that a diagnosis of cancer was the end. Uh, what we know now, it is a disease that can be survived. Um, even those with uh, what we would call incurable cancer can enjoy many years of high quality, productive life. Dr. Lara also says the cancer is going to implement a mammography van program, meaning mobile breast cancer screenings coming to women who live in rural and underserved areas who can often struggle with access to health care. This could lead to earlier cancer detections and life-saving treatments. Mm -hmm.